Movie? What movie are you going to see? Cinderella. Cinderella? I did in this movie. Hey guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, we are here. So, hi guys. Hi guys. Um, we are here at the Cinderella movie. We're so excited. Are you excited? Um, and Libby came with us. Yay. And we are going to see it and give you our review. But we wanted to say hi first. Yep. And um, so opening weekend. Opening weekend. And we will definitely let you know what we think <laughs> about it. So that's all I'll say. We'll see you in a few. Say see bye. You in a few. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Uh, we were we like found a couple more friends of ours. This is Taylor. Say hi. And it's obviously you know Libby. And then there's Riley. Riley, say hi. Hi. She even has her tiara on. So okay, guys. We're gonna rate the movie on a scale of one to 10. 10 is like, it was the best movie ever. Okay, you guys ready? So the count of three, put up as many fingers as you think the movie, how great it was. You got it? You ready, Libby? All right, ready? Show the camera on the count of three. All right, here we go. This is how great the movie was. Ready, you got your hands ready? All right, hands out in front of us. All right, the count of three. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Everybody give it 10, except for Leanne. I knew she wouldn't give it as much. But, okay. Okay, what was your favorite thing? The golden carriage. The golden carriage? Mine was when they danced. Mine was where the fairy godmother turned her into that dress. And the fairy godmother. Yeah, she was great, huh? Libby, did you like her pretty blue dress? Was it pretty? Yeah. She had a really pretty blue dress. That was probably my favorite movie. Uh, yeah, my, my, my favorite movie. Is it's your favorite movie? movie? Wow. It had um, butterflies all over the top. And on her shoes, did you see that butterfly? Glass slippers. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so. It was very, very sparkly. It was. Okay, so, what did you think of the movie? Um, I thought it was very good. I was thinking it was a little slow at the beginning, um, but it definitely picked up and um, I like the story. I think they stayed true to the storyline and um, just the music and stuff. I'm actually really looking forward to listening to the soundtrack because I think it would be very nice. I like that little Dilly Dilly song they sing. It's very nice. Okay, so I knew we were going to have two totally different opinions in this movie because this was my, like growing up, my absolute favorite is movie. As an adult, it's like became even more a favorite since I found my friends charming. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but Anyways, my mom so does I really like, like it how too. they spend more time on mom, mom and dad, right? Like, did Come you on like here, yeah. Mom. So there's like you got to see her mom, which you don't see in the Disney classes, and you got to know a little more of the father, because you don't really get to see or know him much at all. Yeah. So I like that. She thought it was so. I actually was really enjoying it because it made me love the story more. I may or may not have cried, but that's no surprise because that's my. Anyways, so I love it. I was disappointed though, because the soundtrack came out a few days ago, and like a goofball, I listened to it. And it has, um, drink. The, yeah, it has the Dream of Your Heart, yeah, but it also has the Bippity Boppity Boo um, by, I can't think of her name. She plays the lady in Harry Potter, and that's all I know her by. But she's awesome as the fairy godmother. She was really, really great. And, but it has her singing that, and there's no songs in the movie. Like there's no like little musical spots. Yes. There's lots of music. Well, at the end they had a they dream like, and wish your heart makes. They had that playing in the credits. Oh, but but at the beautiful. end she was like singing a, like a song. She was yeah. that that dilly dilly song. It was very pretty, huh? That's how the prince knew she was there. Oh, <gasps> spoiler. I spoiled. Yeah. Okay, so um, other one thing. Oh, go ahead. One thing that I loved was Lady Tremaine's outfits. 
She, yeah, they were, pretty. they were smart. They were so beautiful. I mean, she just was very, for a villain, she was dressed immaculate. It was gorgeous. If Lady was going to be a villain, she would dress like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, or Maleficent. Yeah. That too. The other thing I really liked is, even though it was true to the Cinderella story that Disney made, they took their own liberties of doing a couple different things, like with the, um, Lizards and it just you'll see it was just a little different, but it was cool. Like I like the but way it wasn't they did weird. That. It was different, but not weird. Different, not weird. And true Disney magic, it made me feel like a little girl all over again. Like I loved it so much. Yeah, and it was really fun because there was a bunch of little girls in the theater, oh, and yeah. so like when she became Cinderella in her beautiful dress, um, Libby started clapping, which made the girl behind made the girl start clapping. Behind <laughs> So um, that was kind of fun, yeah. but um, I think it was a really good movie and something to see. Um, you know, we were worried about bringing the little ones, but I it was clean, nice, and oh, yeah. I think they enjoyed it very, very much. You guys like it? Thumbs up? Two thumbs up? All I'm right. Not. <laughs> 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 All right. So do you guys know how to wink? Do you guys wink? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna say have a magical day. And when we say that, you guys have to wink. Are you ready? Okay. All right, so that's all from Look us. Thanks for coming day. with us and have a magical, magical day. day.